Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 7th of 2020. Well, it is titled the Hercules cluster of galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually a very small region of the sky, about equivalent to the full moon. But in this case, we are looking out in the direction of the constellation of Hercules, and we see that there happens to be a great cluster of galaxies there. Now we can see all sorts of galaxies in this image. There are some foreground stars that are part of our Milky Way, and they are noted by the diffraction spikes going through them. The galaxies themselves sometimes look like a little reddish blob, which are elliptical galaxies, or they may look a little bluer and show distinct structure, which identifies them as spiral galaxies. And among the major large galaxies, those are the two primary types that we see spiral and elliptical galaxies. The difference between them is that elliptical galaxies have essentially no cold uh, gas or dust in them. And that means that they are not forming stars. On the other hand, a spiral galaxy does have cold gas and dust, and therefore, like our Milky Way, they are forming stars currently. So here we get to see and get an idea in just a very small portion of the sky how many galaxies are actually there. Now what we find from studying galaxies is that they have a tendency to group together. So galaxies group into clusters and those clusters group into superclusters, which eventually become parts of great filaments. So when we look at galaxies on the largest scales, they are very clustered together grouped. And there are great voids in between the galaxies where there are essentially no galaxies. So our galaxies in our universe are very well grouped together and clusters like this are very common and not unusual. Our own Milky Way is part of a very small cluster we call the local group which has a few dozen galaxies. But here we can see much a much larger number of galaxies. And in fact, when we count many of these, there can be thousands of galaxies. And we can also see how galaxies grow together here. If you look at some of the galaxies, they appear to be colliding together. They look distorted from the traditional shapes you're used to looking at. And that is through galaxies collisions and galaxies are constantly interacting. And this is how galaxies grow. Originally galaxies shortly after the Big Bang did not look like the spiral and elliptical galaxies that we see today. But through collisions and co collecting up more material from those other galaxies, they have slowly grown into the much larger galaxies that we see over that 14 billion years. So that was our picture of the day for November the 7th of 2020. It was titled the Hercules cluster of galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a dark moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.